Hi, I'm Will Gow. Welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, since the early 90s, they've held the sanctioned Kansas City style event, sponsored through the uh, auspices of the Barbecue and the Bow. So, so here we are at the event at the uh, first week in September, and I'll do a tour of some of the participants in this contest of briskets and ribs, and I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, People spend a lot of time and energy to cook and compete with these different teams. And there are, I figure there's at least 40 to 50 teams out here competing for the prizes. And I think you'll enjoy the uh, conversation I have with some of the uh, participants. Hey, I'm Nick with Roker Grills, M from Smokers and Barbecue Supply. I'm sure you guys are uh, grills that I build in Alberta and Leduc. This is our uh, 48 offset reverse flow. Our custom unit for our competition team. Back there, you've got our uh, my old boy called the Junkyard Dog. It's a 48 inch uh, standard flow, dual stacks on the top. Like I said, we build these uh, in house. That's my passion, and uh, yeah, here and we are. How long have you been doing this for? We've been, I've been building smoking for a few years now. Uh, cooking for about 10 years and uh, turned in welder for about 20. I got a little bit of everything. Yeah. And where's your, uh, where do you actually build them out of? We're based right out of the Duke, Alberta. All right, great update. Great machine, thank you. Hey everybody, Ryan here from Moose Knuckle Barbecue down here at Barbecue on the Boat 2022. Uh, myself, uh, Chance, Andrew are the team here. Uh, we are excited to be down here. We've got some products some, uh, from some friends of ours that uh, all Canadian products that we're Selling and supporting here today, and we're just really excited to uh, to be down here. This is our second year competing as a team. We uh, got together last year, and this is our seventh competition now. Yeah. And how about your uh, emblem up here? We snuck a barbecue. Well, we wanted uh, you know wanted to have a little fun with it, and wanted to get a little Canadian reference in there. So that's where the moose came from, and it kind of went from there. And, uh, a team effort, uh, putting everything together and collaborating on putting it all together. Okay, all that stuff. Everything that comes off the Shabab is delicious. So, what we got here is we got some pork tenderloin in the rub that we just marketed. It's called ETTV Supersonic Bad Boy <coughs> Biscuit Jalapeno Rosemary Rubs. They're on sale right now, 20 bucks for a one pound bag. So that's a lot of rub for 20 bucks. Can't say that everywhere. <laughs> so, we got this. Uh, we put chicken thighs on here. I've done pretty much anything that you can skewer with a sword has lived and died on this little grill. And don't be scared, it's, it's just charcoal, wild, love charcoal. You can get it right raw. close to the heat so then you can like get a really good bark on the exterior of it. It's nice. You get the Maillard reaction, that's when you get the browning. So, Maillard reaction, yeah. <coughs> so, we've got this going here right now, so I'm just, I'm pretty close to the, the heat surface. So I'm gonna move this up because I'm gonna be chatting here. So, this talk- My son Steve has smoke trails channel on YouTube and his friends Blair and Cassandra are also competing today and you'll learn some cooking tips from Steve and get some insight of the preparation for this event. So good luck everyone. Okay what I'm doing is I'm selecting the wood that I'm going to start the smoker with. I'm using some birch wood. Usually I use birch for heat because it's a, it's a hardwood that's native to Canada and it's cheaper than a lot of the other wood that I smoke with which includes apple and cherry that I save for later in the cook when I'm trying to add some flavor. So I'm taking some smaller splits. I'm gonna take probably maybe four or five of them. And I'm gonna head over to Firebox. And I'm gonna build a little log cabin. So I'll put two pieces of wood here, just some newspaper in the middle. And I'll build kind of a, a log cabin structure like this. I'm gonna grab one more piece of Alright, and now what I normally do is I take a charcoal chimney 
and maybe light this with some charcoal or I just get some tallow soaked butcher paper or just some newspaper and light it and just light it naturally. But I've got my grill gun, so I'm gonna use this little baby and uh, actually I'm gonna let my nephew, my helper Brock, light this. Okay. So Brock, all you need to do is turn this on so you can hear it, yep. hear that hissing, yep. and then you click this until it lights. So just open it up a little bit and just click it. There you go, okay. Now you can turn it up and just aim it at the wood, aim it at the base of the fire. Oh, look at that baby go. Oh, wow. You don't have to click it anymore. Hold it a little bit further back and up, like right about there. That's perfect. See how you're getting a lot of flame? So these are spare ribs that I'm using for this barbecue competition. I'm injecting it with a, uh, an injection that I've mixed up. It's maple syrup, some off the shelf injection that I purchased and some MSG. Uh, you insert the needle into the, between the rib bones and you uh, just wait until it balloons up, kind of like a hot dog. And then you move on to the next one and then I'll do the next side. So I've done most of these ribs now Moving on to the pork butt, this is another category in KBS uh, barbecue competitions, Kansas City Barbecue Society competitions. To inject this pork butt, we are looking at the money muscle here. This is the this is the muscle on the pork butt that gets you called and gets uh, gets you the money. So that's why they call it the money muscle. And what I'm doing is I'm just coming in here and injecting it with some of this injection fluid. This injection fluid is. Uh, mainly a lot of sugar from the maple syrup. It's got phosphates in it for moisture retention. It's got salt, it's got MSG. So it's got a lot of stuff in it that helps the pork to uh, retain its moisture throughout the long cooking process that I'm going to subject it to. It's gonna make sure that uh, it turns out really juicy and tender and the judges when they take a bite are gonna really enjoy it. So do amateur cooks, can they still do this? I mean, it's not expensive to yeah, get the can, uh, plunger. You can in, you can inject at home. You can get one of these for ten bucks on Amazon. You can just inject uh, barbecue with uh, beef consomme, beef broth. If you're injecting a brisket, or you could just uh, inject it with salt, and it would brine it from the inside and make it a lot more tasty. So usually, I would do that with maybe a pork butt that I'm smoking. I wouldn't do it with brisket, but in competition barbecue, you do actually inject brisket and you inject ribs. Um, but in the backyard barbecue stuff that I do every day, I, I, the only meat I'd probably inject is, uh, is pork butt or pork shoulder. Great. That's great. Thank you. So, um, we are a Master Series team hot parts. We've got Mike, Mike, Pam, and Jen is not here. Um, and then we also have my son's team of Fantastic Eats and how to cue it. He's currently doing Master Series and the kids cue. So he's busy, busy, busy at the moment. Busiest guy in barbecue today. Busiest guy. So you all ready for uh, starting to cook already? Uh, he's, he's almost ready to turn in. His hey. first turn in is in 25 minutes. So how'd you come up with the name? Uh, we're all just big Harry Potter fans. We thought it was cool. Our, our pit boss there really liked it. So he had an idea, we did up the logo and started competing about five years ago. Okay, appreciate that. This is great. Thanks for the quick, nope. quick one. Hi, so uh, this is the Primitive uh, Grills Roadshow uh, team at the uh, Barbecue on the Boat. Uh, we're cooking uh, some brisket, some pork butts, some pork ribs, and some chicken for turn in in the next couple hours. Uh, we're cooking on big green eggs, we're cooking on Traegers, and we cooked on a drum smoker yesterday. So we're kind of hitting all the... Uh, all the bases here. Now tell me a little bit about your uh, recent location set up in the northwest Calgary. Uh, we're just east of, east of Calgary actually in Rocky View. Uh, we have a uh, uh, 4,500 square foot store that has a classroom in the, on the second floor where we can uh, teach you how to uh, cook your grill. We have a class coming up on September 29th, the, the turkey class. Uh, Joe from Motley Q is going to come and uh, teach you how to smoke a turkey. 
make some sweet potato pie, gravy and stuffing, and then we're gonna send you home with a turkey or a turkey breast to, uh, to cook on Thanksgiving about 10 days later, so. The tension mounts as Steve has to get his chicken at the right temperature and then get the right sauce covering on it and be in time for his submission to the judges. Checking the temperature, make sure it's perfect. I'm going to finish my video off with uh, Steve Gowa's smoke trails with the king of meat, the brisket. Just prior to him putting the uh, final in for the event. And so all the best, but great looking brisket, all ready to go. And five minutes before he's got to put it in. Oh, there we are at the end of the brisket and the pork and the chicken. Oh yeah, I forgot the ribs. Just a great update. In a few weeks, I'll be making my way off to Mongolia again and also to the Philippines. So I hope you enjoy my videos on Mongolia and I'll be adding the Philippines to the next round of videos coming up.